Fallout 4 is a game rated M by the ESRB. Hello everyone and welcome back to more Steven Plays Fallout 4. On the last episode, we came into the GNN building. Home of the G-U-N-N-E-R-S. Right? Is it got the... The, the, the gunners. Anyway, um, the other notable thing that happened, besides the fact that there's so much death everywhere, is, uh, God, there's, there's a hand. There's an arm, there's an arm just laying over there. Um, the other notable thing that happened is that, uh, over the past several episodes I've been doing pre-recording because I had friends in town, I'm happy to report, or unhappy to report, that the friends have left. It is back to just me, and Mao, and the cats. Um, so I've read through all of your comments for the past several episodes, and the most notable one is from the previous episode, which says, Steven, you picked up a safe key, and you did not pick up the safe. You're right. I'm sorry. So this was the trunk, and I was like, good, the trunk, all good here. la ba da ba da ba da I never looked here. But to be fair, it doesn't it kind of look like a box? No? All right, let's find out what's in this safe. Ammo, ammo, bottle cap, Rad X, Rad Away, Stim Pack, Wes's hollow tape. Finally, after all this time, maybe we can actually learn something here. Miscellaneous, go all the way down to the bottom, full of items that cannot be removed. And as we get halfway through the alphabet, getting near the end here, we can finally choose Wes's holotape, and possibly learn something more about this story. Command, this is 429er. We have visual on hostiles near Fallons. Copy? Over. 429er copy. How long before range? Command, we are two mics from range. Over. 429er copy. You are clear to engage when ready. Command, copy. We'll update as soon as we- Ambush! Taking heavy fire! 429, you are to retreat back to HQ immediately. Do you copy? Over. Command, say again. Over. 429, to retreat back to HQ immediately. That's an order. Over. Command, copy. Pulling back to HQ. Out. Hmm. So, not, not a ton of, in, uh, you know, additional information, but... I mean, lore is lore, and I do appreciate having it. Also, I uh, was tipped off by a commenter saying that I did miss a, uh, a legendary, which I did, so I appreciate that. Also, he's slowly waving. Oh, you walked right over him. Oh. All right. Um, now we got to go back to Sanctuary. I got to take care of a few things quickly, and then we're going to be on to our next location. But first, I've come back here to the Egret Tours Marina, which is where we met Phyllis. And at the edge of this pier is a little building that we apparently never checked out. I just disarmed a bomb, and there's a few supplies of varying worthiness in here. Guess there's a quantum if you're totally into that. But the reason I came back is that the commenter tipped me off that I should have picked up this. There we go. Permanently heal plus 50% from irradiated packaged food and drink. Haven't been doing a whole lot of that, but I am on a mission to um, at least attempt to get all of the magazines and this will, uh, certainly help. Okay, now I can get back to Sanctuary. Back in Sanctuary, and, uh, recently there's been a lot of talk about what I should name the kneecapper flamer that, uh, I recently picked up. And there's been a few good options in the comments. Um, there was, uh, one comment that, uh, harkened back to, uh, Skyrim, because it was basically a shout. Um, there was a very well-liked comment called, uh, Crippling Depression. Which I gotta admit is actually a pretty good name for the gun. Uh, as a commenter said, you use it and they become crippled, and then they are depressed. Um, but I actually went with a different name. Um, and this one is... It's truly awful. Uh, but I went with the name... Hemorrhoids. <laughs> What's that burning sensation? Oh god, is it hemorrhoids? The answer is yes. Yes, it is. Um, you, you will notice that on my mods, I didn't actually give it the best, in air quotes, stuff. Just because it doesn't need it. Uh, for example, Napalm Tank does more damage. But I'm really not using this thing to kill things. It's just to cripple them. Um, so I decided to ignore that and save the six pounds because it makes it a lot heavier. Um, I did go for the long barrel because that increases the reach. 
um, and I upgraded the standard propellant tank to a huge, but then I left the standard nozzle on because the compression um, gives it better damage and the vaporization gives it superior damage, but they both reduce the range and increasing the range is something I want to do. Once again, hemorrhoids aren't, aren't there to kill people, it's just there to make them very uncomfortable. All right, now we've been sitting on this finished uh, quest for Desdemona, so we should go turn that in. That's a really creepy camera angle. All right, uh, down we go. Is anybody rushing to talk to me as they sometimes do? Desdemona. Desdemona. I have someone here who wants to meet you. So you're the famous charmer. You really saved our asses. Oh, I'm Mr. Timms. Everyone at Randolph owes you. Is Randolph Safe House okay? No. We got orders to abandon it. We heard the bastards that took down Switchboard also got Herkimer and Allen. So they might have been closing on Randolph as well. You saw us through some really dark times. We all pitched in together for this. My team's gonna be hunting for a new safe house. Knowing how paranoid my runner is, it'll take a while. Take care. Institute Killer Weave mod added. 200 bottle caps. Huh. So we actually finally got to meet Mr. Timms. And we completed Randolph Safe House 6. Those things have been going on for a while. You really walk the free Man. Awesome. Yourself? Do you have anything else to add? Hey. One more hour until my shift ends. No, you, you don't. Desdemona. Operation Jackpot was a success? Oh, thank God. We were running perilously low on supplies. Hmm. I guess that's... That, uh, as far as I know, I think that's that for the, the railroad entirely. Um, or nearly entirely. I know that we still have Underground Undercover, uh, but that one can't technically be finished without pissing someone off. So, as far as, you know, for, as, as, as far as staying neutral as long as possible, I think that we have actually finished with the railroad, which is pretty exciting. Um, we did it. Good job, everyone. Uh, the only other thing that I have a question about is what the balls did we get? It was a institute... Is it in my miscellaneous? I don't know. What was it called? Institute something? I'm never gonna find... Is it in here? No. Well, it's a mod, so it may not show up in my... St oh, here it is. Institute Killer Weave Mod. Okay. So... Do you guys have a, uh, an armor work... Bench in here? Certainly you do somewhere, right? Like, to be honest, I never really looked around in here for that, but I, I would assume that you have one in here that I can. I suppose you're here for my medical services. I'm not here for your medical services. I'm here so you can get out of my way. Let's see here. Grits fatigues. Seems like a thing that could use it. So the Institute Killer Weave grants 10% bonus damage against Institute members and synths. Which I mean, if you're going to go on an institute killing spree, it would probably be a really great thing to wear. Please. But otherwise, this is infinitely better. You can see the damage resist is 110 and 115 versus 20 and 25. So you go through all that trouble and you don't really get anything worthwhile. Um, unless you really want to kill some institute dudes, in which case maybe it would be worth it. All right. There's still more to do, but first, I'm going back to a location that we haven't fully explored yet. I swapped out McCready for do 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 Paladin Dance, and I've come back to Walden Pond. Walden Pond was an area that uh, we didn't really get a chance to fully explore, and I had tons of comments telling me that there's some interesting stuff uh, here that I missed. And it's not that I ever really missed it, it's just I hadn't explored it yet. So we're going to um, explore wherever the... Where did it drop me off? I am at Walden Pond, right? Yeah. Okay. I don't think I've seen this side of it. Interesting. Okay, first off... No. Not doing that. So where am I? Good old little makeshift bomb here. Gonna go ahead and grab that. So, um, one I'm looking... Oh, there's a few bombs around. Oh, that's nice. Uh, apparently there's, there's lore here, but then there's also, I think, a magazine here. Um, which was one of the reasons Quite people wanted me to, uh, to check. Searching through it could prove beneficial. Sure, I will search through this trash by unlocking this suitcase. That's it. <laughs> I do not want this trash. This is a lot quieter. 
Um, it was also, uh, it was really encouraging to read the, uh, the comments you guys left on the last four or five episodes. Just because we did a lot of exploration. Um, I, I really don't like to do, uh, main quest stuff if I can help it whenever I'm out of, I'm out of town or people are in town and I'm, I'm not going to be able to do them one at a time like I normally do. Um, I like, I like viewers to be able to interact and give feedback on, you know, each individual, each individual little thing. Um, so I did a lot of exploration and a lot of people were just really excited about the fact that there was exploration and that, I don't know, just meant a lot to me because I know some people, um, can certainly be like, oh man, get to this point, get to that point. And it's, uh, it's nice to see people excited about some other things. Note to Tweez. What? Tweez. If you're reading this, then you're an idiot. This is the last time I tell you we're locking this door. Use the entrance in the sewer pipe. Next time you forget, I'm locking your ass out permanently. Walter. Um. Okay. Uh. Also. I was tipped off by the comments for Walden Pond. Um. To, even though I'm, I'm super awesome and I could just break into that, that door. Um, to actually go through the, uh, the pipe entrance. I don't know where the pipe entrance is. We have to find it. But, uh, apparently it's worth our, our time. And there can be some additional lore if we're sneaky and play it cool. I thought that that was a creature. It is, <laughs> it is a rock. Where is the pond from here? The pond's this way. Alright, so when you warp to the Walden Pond, it takes you to this strange shop. It's a gift shop of some sort. And, uh, we have learned that there is apparently someone around here by the name of Tweez. Which is a... quite honestly, spectacular name. Wait, what? Automated tour? Hello, and welcome to Walden Pond. Um... Hello. And welcome to Walden. You are now standing in front of the cabin and you are now standing in front of the cabin inhabited by transcendentalist writer and philosopher Henry David Thoreau, starting in the summer of 1845. What? For two years, two months, and two days, Thoreau lived in this cabin, hoping to gain a more objective understanding of society. This experiment was influenced by Thoreau's interest in transcendentalist philosophy, which believed that people were at their best when truly self-reliant. By living off the land with few material possessions, Thoreau proved it skeptical to think that any outward improvement of life could bring inner peace and contentment. For more information, please visit the gift shop and purchase one of the many books on transcendentalism. Huh. Also available, t-shirts, coffee mugs, toys, and many other items to commemorate your trip. Seriously, please buy a Thank thing. Thank you for visiting Walden Pond, sponsored by General Atomics, maker of the Mr. Handy robotic assistant. Huh. I'm gonna be honest, of all the things to find out here, I, I definitely didn't expect to find this. That's highly unusual. Alright, so let's start wandering around the pond a little bit. Looks like it's mostly barren. We're supposed to be getting into a drainage pipe. Looks like this is probably it. This is probably it. I'm gonna turn off my light, crouch down, and go on inside. Alright, now, from what I understand, if we're quiet, we may get additional lore. Hopefully, Paladin Dance can also be quiet. This is a little disgusting. But, if I'm honest, so is most of Fallout 4, so I guess it's fine. Ugh. This is revolting. Let's keep moving. Just gonna follow this and see where it goes. Is that... No, that's... Ah, uh, mannequins. Oh, there's someone down there that's not. So this guy made sure he had everything he needed before he started his camping trip in that little shack up top. Double-checked his list and everything. 
and that's why they call it being the road. Oh, and this guy invented trans, uh, transol. Oh, come on, please keep talking. Trains dentalism, moron. You sound like an idiot. Is there more to it? I mean, that... That's funny. And we've already gotten... Uh, how do you know all this? Oh my god. Do you see what's happening right now? The reason it's taking so long is that this NPC is trying to go to sleep, and he has to keep getting up to answer. I read a book that one time. When we ran out of grognacks. Oh my god. I wonder if the other NPC is also getting up to, to, like, hear the answer and respond as well. I wish I could read. Are they... Are they done? Oh my god. That's what happened. They're both asleep, but the game needed them to have a conversation. So one of them got up and spoke to the other one. After he said his line, he was allowed to go back to sleep. But it triggered the other one to get up and answer. When he got up and answered, the other one had to get up. Oh my god. I don't think there's more to the conversation. Uh, at least I'm assuming there's... there's not. <laughs> that was uh some slow falling limbs. All right, was that was that it? I think I killed both of them. Tweez. Hey, Tweez, how you doing? These fortifications may still be inhabited. It's true. Maybe there's more dialogue, although they may also be asleep. Hmm, bear. Bear and Tweez. He looks like a pleasant fellow. Also, did you turn on your Oh, I was gonna say, did you turn on your light? Cause that, like, never happens. Um, I'm gonna take this. Just for, uh, for my good buddy. Back at, uh, Sanctuary. You know the one. No, not Kate. <laughs> I got her clean. Let's see, so there's still someone down here. Just got the jet. Let's take care of these things. You can probably get weighed down pretty quickly. Careful. Move back. In case they have more fun words to say. Please don't be ferals again. Nothing there now. What do you think? I don't know. Jump in a Yeah, you're probably right. No, these are just generic raider conversations. Okay, that's weird. It's it's strange though. That, I mean, they're all named, so it's like a little organization down here. There's Walter. What? Okay, I'm uh, I'm finishing this up. Goodbye. One shot. <laughs> wow, that's kind of pathetic. Here, Walter. Will you take more than one? Nope. <laughs> Just the one. Holy crap. I, I think that was it. I think there were four people living down here, and that was... That was the end of that. Abraxo cleaner. I'd just leave that if I were you. Gas canister, I'll leave that. Um, is there a magazine or something down here? Gift shop key. So Walter's the one that had the gift shop key. Let's see if there's anything else of interest around here. Ooh, mining helmet. A little bit of ammo. Lunchbox. Uh, bottle cap mine. Yeah, this would have been, you know, vaguely helpful early game, getting bottle cap mine. I, I remember, um, in, uh, in Fallout 3, bottle cap mines were just saviors. And I'm sure, depending on your playstyle and level, uh, bottle cap mines could be saviors in, uh, in this game as well. Let's see, I came out of that one and I couldn't go straight, right? I just wanted to double check. Um, they do a ridiculous amount of damage 
and it's it can be very difficult, but um, you know sometimes you're just like running backwards and throwing bottle cap mines and hoping that it's not so close that it kills you. Huh? Okay, so I'm back up to this door, and uh, I don't know if the I can't remember exactly if there was a um, oh there's a safe here. I can't remember exactly if there was a magazine in Walden's Pond. And if so, I don't know if it would be in here or not. Uh, there's also a... God, there's also a chance because I did throw... Uh, I did throw a... Um, grenade. There's always the chance that... Oh, no, it's right here. <laughs> Permanently gained better prices when buying from a vendor. All right. There's been a few times where I've, I've kind of actually almost screwed things up for myself by throwing grenades. Um, just because they blow, they'll blow magazines away. But this time we lucked out. And I think we are done with this area. So that area was, um, you know, definitely worth it. Walden Pond was definitely worth, uh, exploring. Um, I don't know if there's anything else to it. I don't think there is. I don't suspect there is. Like, just looking around, help defend Spectacle Island. Nah, I'm good. <laughs> they can... They, they got it under control. Just looking around, it doesn't look like there's anything else here. If I'm wrong, and there is something else you guys wanted me to check out, then let me know. But I believe that that was it. Uh, now that we've done that, you may be asking, why do you have Paladin Dance? Well, it's because part of our mission is to finish from within. Report to Elder Maxon. I thought that uh, it might be kind of nice to have a member of the Brotherhood with us when we let Elder Maxon know that Dr. Lee is going to be returning to the Brotherhood of Steel. I received word that Dr. Lee is returning to us. How cooperative do you think she'll be? Will she be harmed if she doesn't cooperate? Absolutely not. We have big plans for Dr. Lee, including the resurrection of one of her greatest creations. The last thing we'd want to do is kill the Golden Goose. As soon as Dr. Lee arrives, we'll interrogate her aboard the Pridwin. She's been under the Institute's influence for the last decade, and we can't afford to take any chances. Now, on to other matters. Thanks to the success of your reconnaissance efforts, it's time to advance our operations to the next phase. I want you to report to Proctor Ingram at the airport. She has a special project that requires your immediate attention. Once again, Knight, you don't fail to impress. Dismissed. It me. I'm awesome. I am friends with everyone. You're taller than me in that suit. I don't like that. Maxon? Elder Maxon? Liberty Prime is the linchpin of our operation. Make certain you follow Ingram's orders to the letter. Okay. Let's go find Proctor Ingram. Proctor Ingram is not here. Proctor Ingram is down there. Get into the ship. Is wait, is that how do I? Yeah, get into the ship. Proctor Ingram, where are you? I've looked for you through and through. You weren't up there, so you must be here. I'm going to see you right this second. So, I bet you're eager to get your hands dirty on our new project. How much has Maxon told you about it? Well, he seems to feel it's pretty important. Important is an understatement. We're pouring every resource we have into this thing. I hope it's worth it. Come on, it's this way. Unless you're blind as a bat, I'm sure you've noticed that we've been building a gantry on the tarmac. Maxon and Kells have been looking for something that'll tip the balance when we go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Institute. Now, the Pridwin might be a big beast, but she's not built for fighting. That's where our new project comes in. Okay. Where is it? What is it? This storage bay full of parts is what's left of Liberty Prime. The Brotherhood used it in the Capital Wasteland as a weapon against the Enclave. It's the most advanced robot the Brotherhood has ever had at its disposal. Unfortunately, Liberty Prime was destroyed in the line of duty. I've spent the better part of the last few years piecing him back together. And if you think that was easy, try rebuilding a Protectron while you're blindfolded. 
Oh man. In order to get Liberty Prime fully operational, we're going to need your help. My help? I don't know a thing about robot repair. Why don't we leave the repairing to my scribes? You're going to be doing the legwork. Now, the good news is that we've got most of Prime's parts fully assembled. The bad news is that it's going to take more than a few rivets and some spot welding to get them working again. The first problem is his CPU. It's fragile, and every time we try to feed power to it, it blows itself out. Why is the power blowing out his CPU? Liberty Prime has a highly complex power system. A good deal of that system was damaged when he exploded. So I'm working in the dark trying to come up with parts on my own. Luckily, you were able to convince Dr. Madison Lee to return to the Brotherhood. She was on the original build team for Liberty Prime a little over a decade ago. I've already spoken to her, but she's reluctant to work on Prime for some reason. If you could get her down here to lend a hand with his power system, we can get the big guy moving. Okay. I can do that. This is kind of interesting because, um... I mean, not, not to... Hmm... I don't want to spoil anything, but I will say that this robot, when they're talking about the Capital Wasteland, they're talking about Fallout 3. And Liberty Prime is in Fallout 3, so if you've played that game, this is the same Liberty Prime, and if you choose to play that game sometime in the future, you can expect to see Liberty Prime. It's pretty neat. Alright, uh, so what we gotta do now... I came all the way down here... Doggone, I came all the way down here to find Proctor Ingram. And she wants me to get to Dr. Lee, who is back up there. Okay, let's see. And you are in... Oh my god. Okay. Like five map transitions later. Dr. Lee? Attention. This is a reminder. Any recovered historical, technological, or social documentation should be delivered directly to Proctor Quinlan. That is all. Is like this rust bucket. Oh, sure, the Pridwin's a fine ship, but put me in the field any day. Let's see Don't here. Despair, We're here to there you are. As the game has an auto save and freezes in place while it finishes doing it. But I can see your body. There we go. Hi. Working on a death claw without Doctor, backup is a great if way you're to get here to talk killed. me into working on Liberty Prime, you can forget it. Uh... What changed your mind? Nothing changed my mind. I promised you I'd return to the Brotherhood, and I've kept my end of the bargain. Do I need to remind you why you made that promise in the first place? No, that won't be necessary. Tell Proctor Ingram to get her scribes ready. It's going to take a hell of a lot of work to get Liberty Prime back online. But we'll get it done. That was ridiculously easy. Dance loved that. I came up here, and she's like, I won't work on Liberty Prime. And I'm like, do I need to remind you why you're here? And she's like, alright, I'll work on Liberty Prime. By the way, have you enjoyed running back and forth between the Pridwin and the airport? Because I need you to do it again. Oh my god, do you say anything else? Excuse me, Dr. Lee? Um... Commonwealth's a dangerous place. Make sure you gear up before you head out. I mean, also, maybe, maybe Madison Lee just hates me? All right, well, she don't want to talk to me. So now that we've... God, so now that we've went up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down, we gotta do it again, let's go! All right, so now that I'm down here for the umpteenth time... I expect us to actually do something. Please. Excuse me, Proctor Ingram. Well, things are off to a good start. Isn't that right, Doctor? I hope so. Prime suffered some significant damage to his memory core. I wish your people would have been a bit more careful, Proctor. No response. The good news is that the damage isn't irreversible, and I should be able to get the power flowing into his CPU core without overloading. If your people stay out of my way, that is. Charming, isn't she? Hmm. Did we make a mistake asking her to help? Nah, no, don't worry about it. We might not be best buddies, but we'll get the job done. Besides, Dr. Lee's worth all the aggravation. We're working with one of Prime's original designers. I don't see it getting any better than that. In fact, since things are going so well, we're gonna have you start building as electromagnetic actuators. What do the actuators do? Pretty simple, really. 
The actuators are what allows Liberty Prime's arms and legs to move. Prime's new limbs are way too heavy for the simple hydraulic pistons he had in the past. We're gonna have to rip those out, construct a brand new system using electromagnets, and install them in his limbs. What we need you to do is build the actuators for us. Now that you know what the actuators are, you need to know how to make them. These are the plans and the materials list. Don't lose them. Now before you get that look on your face, you'll be happy to know that we have plenty of the raw materials on that list right here at the airport. The only thing we need you to head out and find is a high-powered magnet. According to Proctor Quinlan, the best place to find one is in any of the ruined hospitals around the Commonwealth. We've already sent out a few teams to find the rest of the high-powered magnets you'll need. They should be back by the time you return. Once you start building the actuators, we need one for each limb, so you'll need to make a total of four. Good luck. I'm pretty sure at some point Dr. Lee was, like, teleporting around. Maybe it was in my head. Uh, okay. Proctor Ingram. Just build us those actuators and we'll do the rest. Dr. Lee. Any luck with those actuators yet? Liberty Prime isn't going far without his arms and legs. Let me, uh, see here. Liberty Prime current status. Okay, online, offline, offline, offline. Work reports. Uh, now that all the crates have been unloaded and I'm just... And I'm looking at the wreckage of Liberty Prime, I'm just starting to grasp the daunting task ahead. Maxon doesn't just want him restored, he wants me to make improvements on the original design. I have all of the schematics from the Citadel's databanks, and I've been studying them ever since we left the Capital Wasteland. I just hope I can get all this work done in time. Work is progressing at a rapid pace. My engineering team is doing a heck of a job refitting his damaged parts. Unfortunately, the metalworking, the electrical wiring, and the limb assembly, all of that's the easy part. The real problem is with his power system. I've shorted out two CPUs already, and they don't exactly grow on trees. If I can't work these power problems out, Prime won't be any more than a pretty metal statue. Thanks to our new recruit, we were able to get a specialist on site to lend a hand with the power problems. It only took them a short time to get everything figured out. Now, Prime CPU has a nice stable flow of power that should remain stable, uh, or steady flow of power that should remain stable when we fire up his fusion core. Next on the list is getting electromagnetic actuators built for his legs. And let's just, you know, overlook the fact that I spoke to Lee and then ran down here as fast as I could and she was already here, and there's a report in about her. <sighs> it's it's a video game. It's a video game. All right. So what I need to do is I need to get these electromagnetic magnetic whatevers, um, and it says one of the hospital ruins should have what I need, and it's basically telling me to go straight here. I mean, all right. Uh, Medford Memorial Hospital. This is the place that has synths and super mutants. I was gonna say I remember this place pretty well. One of them, one of them, where are you? One of them has a nuke. Somewhere over there. Takes care of some of it. All right, come get some. Ow, 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 ow. I failed to defend Spectacle Island. Well, I'll get around to it. Oh! I think we crippled him. He's on the ground, but he still has a gun. Alright, let's see here. A bottle cap, that's nice. Sentinel's Power Fist, take 15% less damage while standing and not moving. Anything else I need to know? Not really. <laughs> a Skull Eye Socket, oh boy! Probably shouldn't use this while I'm in there. We have been in here before, so this should be pretty quick. We are in here specifically for the magnet. I really can't help but wonder if maybe... Like, the magnet is is actually like a normal item and we have... There's a suicider indoors, really? Seems unusual, but okay. Uh, and we have, like... We already have a magnet. Thankfully, I killed them. Oh, God. Ugh! Can't believe they put the Suicider indoors. Yeah, part of me is wondering if we actually don't already have a magnet and it's just in storage. Um, but I mean, yeah, whatever. <laughs> okay. Uh, 
Okay, we good? We good. Fortunately, it's telling us exactly where the magnet is, so we should be able to get in and get out fairly quickly. Um... Oh, I was hoping to kill you. Probably kill you as you... Yeah, you... you stupidly run around here. Now you're done. Most of these guys are already dead. I... Actually, I shot the Suicider, so his nuke should still be over here. Where's your nuke, buddy? There it is. Now it's mine. That very rarely happens. I normally just, uh... Go crazy on them and... Shoot them. Ow! God! Ah, oh, you dirtbag! Get out of here! Bad super mutant! To hear that, dude. Um... Not very many red... Uh, spots on the map, um, at this point, which is nice. We can probably just kind of go get our supply and get out of here. Once again, we have been here before. As noted by the fact that I have the key. Trying to see if there's anything... ...in here I should be aware of. It's me. <laughs> Give me a minute and I'll open this up and shoot you dead. One second here. No, no, there we go. Nice. Okay, mutant hound. Um, boom. Super mutant butcher. Boom, 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 boom. Anyone else? That's it. You're dead. One. Two. Didn't need the fourth shot. Slow mo fall. Oh God! <laughs> I knew there was another. I knew there was another dot. I was like, where is he? Bad as the roach. Wait, is someone else in here? Someone else is in here. Where? Where are, are they? Behind the door? Door number one. My friend, you're dead. Boom. Your head has left your body. All right. Dun, 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 dun. High powered magnet. I did it. Construct an actuator. Zero of four. Oh god. Alright, so now we just have to leave here. Leave this terrible place. Gotcha! Boom! That's actually a kind of a scary noise. I know that it's a good thing, like, you got the four-leaf clover, but it's- it actually kind of frightens me. I don't know. <laughs> be honest, I don't actually know if I like that noise. I think I would prefer a different noise. They shooting at me? They are, but unfortunately, they can't catch me. I'm much faster. Okay, I'm back here. I'm not exactly sure where I go to do the thing. Oh. This is technically a workshop. I often forget that. Okay, um... Special. Electromagnetic actuator four. Oh, so I can I can build them. Where do I Where do I build them? Like anywhere? Certainly they need to be Don't they need to be placed in certain spots? I guess not. Well then guess what, buddy? One two three Four. I am the best. I made... something. And I guess... They need to be activated? Is that what the thing is asking? Speak to Proctor Ingram. What do they do? Because they can't be activated. They don't do anything. Okay, well I have to speak to Proctor Ingram. Something that I am going to be doing next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. That concludes today's episode of Fallout 4. Uh, next episode, we will go talk to Proctor Ingram, and we will continue on with uh, some of this Brotherhood of Steel stuff. Getting down to the wire! Getting down to... There's, it, there's not much left we can do at this point to stay neutral. Um, just a few more missions, I think, is the only thing that we can still do to stay neutral, but I'm working on it. Also, who is that? Who is that, and why are they wandering around over here? Ma'am? If you ain't been up to see Grey Garden, you should go. The whole place is run by robots. Is this place owned by the Brotherhood? 
It plays the Brotherhood music. Yeah, I guess so. Huh. Don't think I've ever seen this before. And I mean, it's a settler for this area. Very weird. Huh. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you guys next time for more Stephen Plays Fallout 4.